What is the deal, everybody? What is the deal? My people, what is the deal? This is Wasted Talent coming to you live with Raider Nation Unlimited. Thank y'all for pulling up with me, man. You know what I mean? I'm going a little early today. Got some things to do with the family. So, you know. You already know I can't miss my people today, man. I can't miss my people, man. We got to talk some Raider football. It's a lot of shit going on in the nation. You know what I mean? It's a lot of speculation out there. There's a lot of things I'm seeing that, you know, I feel like we needed to touch on. What is good, everybody in the chat? What's good, everybody in the chat, man? DeMarcus Webb, my brother. Pay my bar tab early. What's good? Wasted the road to 3 k Continues. Y'all sub and hit that like button. I couldn't have said that better myself, DeMarcus. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you. The fly and wonderful Sarah Phillips. Thank you. Thank you for pulling up on me once again. Thank you. My brother Chanceworthy Evans is always in a place to be. Thank you, my brother. And I'm doing a lot better today. Yesterday I was, I was, I was beat. You know what I mean? Today I'm, you know, getting back at it. Today I'm getting back at it. I got my coffee ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to roll. You know what I mean? I'm ready to roll, y'all. What is the deal? We got 56 in the room. Wait for a few more people to pull up, man. What would you be looking to get for a wallet trade? We will get into that in a second. Austin Crawl. Like I always say, I have the smartest, the smartest chat in the, in, in 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 all of YouTube, man. I appreciate y'all pulling up. Swift Raider, yo, first time here. Just saw you on Andy's channel and one on Docs. I like to break down the perspective in the Raiders. Maybe we have something here. Yes, we definitely have something here, Swift Raider, my brother. Please, sub, man. Join the family, my brother. Join the family, man. Non-stop Raider podcast. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. So, yo, it's Wasted Wednesdays, everybody. Bill Gates. Thank you, bro. Rookie of the year. <laughs> We got 81 in here so far, so I think it's time for us to get started. Listen, OG just pulled up, y'all. Classing the place up, y'all. Shout out to my brother, OG, one of the originals, man. You know what I mean? From the black hole. This guy is a rated legend, and the fact that he pulls up on me whenever he gets a chance, I really appreciate it, OG, man. Thank you for your presence, bro. Uh, the chat just got dumber. Michael's here. Michael's here. Michael, please. My haters here. Thank you. <laughs> NorCal Jesse, salute, my brother. Salute, salute. Did you see that Devontae Adams ain't getting franchise tag? They are letting him test the free agent market. Why, yes, Revenge Blaze. <laughs> the Raider Equinox is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! Don't it just feel good, baby, to win sometimes? If he can test the free agent market, it is time for Tay Adams to come home in silver and black, baby. I love it. I love it, y'all. I love it. So now, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if Tay Adams is out there, now it gets a little bit different. What would we do with the first pick? We can do a lot of things. We can fill different needs if Devontae comes home. But I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm going to be quite honest with you. If Devontae comes here, you know what I mean? There's no need for us to go out and go get Brandon Cooks. It'd be dope if we did. But you know what I'm saying? I just saw this. You guys enlightening me on something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The kingpin is in the place to be. Docs ENT, listen. Shit, yo, shit just about to, just about to get real in here when Docs is up in the place to be. Docs, thank you for pulling up on your brother, man. Thank you. But listen, man, if Devontae Adams can test the free agent market, then that means that he can't. We, they can't let him out of the room now. You have to get him. Now that you can get him without giving up any draft capital, you have to bring De Devontae Adams here. It's, it's a no-brainer. That is the only way that Derek Carr is going to be willing to take a substantially less contract 
than he probably would want. You know, and I was wondering I, today when I was thinking about going on and doing the show, you know what I'm saying? I was like, am I going to talk about why the fuck hasn't Derek Carr been signed yet? What am I going to talk about today? Because I always got something to talk about. I, I could talk radio football in my sleep. I love this shit. Then, then, you know, I saw this Darren Waller rap video. And we will get into that. That is the premise of this show. But let me tell you something. Shout out to my brother, Dirty. Dirty, what is the deal, my brother? But now that I'm seeing that, because I didn't know before I came, I, you know, I, I literally did not see this news about Devontae Adams. You guys are enlightening me. Each one teach one. You guys are doing this for me, and I appreciate that. But I'm going to have to pivot a little bit here. Since Devontae Adams is free and clear, you have to make a major run at Devontae Adams. What that looks like in salary-wise, I don't know. I don't care as long as they can fill the rest of the team out. But it's not my money, goddammit. It's Mark Davis's money. Bring that motherfucker right here so him and Derek can be like back in college and they can play pitch and catch. I appreciate the fact that y'all enlighten me on that. So listen, now it's time to start clearing cap space. It's time to start clearing cap space. So it's a few people that I went over. Andy went over this on his show, and I was kind of putting this together too before I went on his show. So shout out to Andy. But uh, look, man, there's a few guys that you can get rid of to get to to, to get yourself about thirteen to fourteen million dollars in cap space. You know, we know uh, NASA. It's about three million right there. Littleton will save you one point eight. Denzel Good will save you four point one. And Amik Robertson will save you a, a nice substantial savings. You have another $13 million in cap space. And then what you can do is you can package that stuff that you cleared out with him. And, and maybe not for nothing, you can even get rid of Denzel Perriman too. And I know you guys that think I'm crazy, but I don't think Denzel Perriman fits into Patrick Graham's scheme. Uh, he He's really, you can get rid of him with no dead money. And I'm sure that he could be packaged and traded to Indianapolis with no problem. Gus Bradley will take him. He's a Gus Bradley guy. You know what? Get him out of here. If that means we can get a Devontae Adams. I know you guys are thinking I'm crazy, but wasted is crazy like a fox. I know what I'm talking about. Denzel Perriman can be very easily replaced in his defense, so he can go. But listen, man, you have to do whatever you can to get one of the best players at his position in the National Football League in here right now. Revenge Blaze, thank you for giving me the smack. Bleach Report reported that Green Bay will not franchise him and let him test free agency. And there was a gentleman in this room who said that Green Bay will not franchise him because it's too much money. There's a gentleman in this room, along with myself, who said that the last person that Green Bay has franchise tag was Ryan Pickett in 2011. Way back 10 something years ago, over 10 years ago. So there's a method to the madness here. And do you know who this man's name is? The mayor of Raider Nation. Mr. Graphic Raider Doc CNT said this shit a lot. He said this shit a month ago. And I also did. We on the show. And we were breaking this down. And we said that Tay Adams was going to be free and clear for the Raiders to go poach him from Green Bay. So now all you got to do is go out there and complete the mission. All you got to do is make sure that their contract is advantageous to the Raiders to bring help on the defensive end of the ball because we have no secondary, we have no defensive line, and we, we don't have seven draft picks. You know, maybe if you get Devontae Adams, you can stomach trading down and getting, you know, two first-round picks at that point and going crazy from there because now you need players to fill a roster out. You know, because you definitely need a safety because, you know, they play that too high safety with Patrick Grant. So let me tell you something, man. The Raider Equinox is upon us, everybody. 185 in the chat. Please, everybody, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thank you. Balboa, you just got wasted, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Please, 191 in the room. He's wasted already, y'all. Wasted wind days, everybody. Now, listen, we know we're going to get Adams. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people are going to say that I'm crazy. Now, y'all see the thumbnail. You see what I'm talking about. 
Darren Waller today released a terrible rap video. Now, just for Darren Waller releasing that terrible rap video, I think they should cut him. <laughs> I'm fucking around. That was one of the worst athlete rap songs I've ever heard in my life. Terrible. It's reminiscent of the great Kobe Bean Bryant doing a rap record. It's terrible. It's absolutely horrible. So just for him trying to rap, I want him out of here. But on a serious tip, on a football tip, seriously, there's been a lot of things that have been floating around about Darren Waller. And a lot of it is just pure speculation. It is conjecture. It is There's no real facts. It's none of that stuff. Right. A lot of people said that he had a beef with, with Derek Carr. A lot of people said that Clutch Sports was trying to make a power, power play so he can get another contract and to, to so he can leverage himself and get him out of, you know, Las Vegas. A lot of people were saying that. And I didn't really, you know, a lot of it, you know, I believe some of it, some of it, I, I, you know, I believe some of it I didn't. But now that I see that Darren Waller now is trying to become a brand instead of a football player by making rap albums before he's really legitimately established himself in the National Football League. What I'm saying is if that if you're not putting football first, I think it's time to cut bait and get 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 what you can at the top of his abilities. Because listen, Darren Wilder is, is a is a great player, right? He's physically talented, but it's not like the production we've gotten out of Darren Wilder is something that cannot be replaced. There are a lot of young, talented, stud tight ends on the market. Mike Gusecki, I mentioned him the other day. David Njoku, very, very physically talented. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear this. You guys are going to kill me in the chat for this. But like I said before, if Darren Waller is not focused on football and he's focused on being a brand, and, and, and the problem with the affiliation with Clutch Sports means that it's always good for the player, but it's never good for the team who has the player when you have the Clutch Sports thing. Listen, I'm a big LeBron James fan as a player. I'm not a fan as his representation, man. I've seen mul a multitude of players in the NBA go over there with Clutch Sports, try to force their way out of teams, sit out seasons. You know, you had Anthony Davis do that shit down when he was in New Orleans. That was their tactic to get him out of there, right? Then you just had Ben Simmons do the same thing. And now you have a football player who really – a couple of years ago was on a scrap heap. John Gruden brought him in here. He established himself, had a really great season. Last year, he didn't have such a great season. There were a lot of things. Some people would say that Darren Waller was dogging it with that injury and didn't want to come back. And I tend to believe that. And I saw that once we were in playoff contention, then he wanted to come back and play for the Raiders. Then he wanted to shut the fuck up and play. See, this ain't basketball, man. You know, one player doesn't move the needle like that in basketball unless you're a quarterback. Let's just be for real here, man. I'm saying it right now. Darren Waller is not completely sold out about winning. It's time to get him the fuck out of here, man. Tazi, you goddamn right, Tazi. I'm tripping on that. Thank you, thank you, Balboa. But we're just, we're just, we're just, let me get, let me set this, let me set this man straight. The nation is not tripping. Now we're using rapping as a reason. You goddamn right. This guy's been hurt. This guy's been causing issues. He's not getting along with DC, which is all right. That's fine, right? But what we're using is the representation. Clutch sports are full of shit. Clutch Sports is full of shit, and I don't give a shit what the fuck. But, yo, and he could be rapping in his home. He could do whatever the fuck he want. God damn it, I used to run. And I was nice, too. You know, pause. I was, I was super nice. But what I'm saying is, is that, yo, when you're making rap videos and all of that kind of shit, for me, I'm old-fashioned. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. I don't want nobody here that puts other things besides their family 
and children over football. If he's been doing it for years, I didn't know. But now that I see and I see how horrible it is, get him the fuck out of here. Trade him. Seriously, bro. Because I've heard things about this man dogging his shit out, bro. And it, to me, it looks that way, man. It looks like the classic clutch sports bullshit. That's the way it looks for me, Tazi. I'm not going to sit up here. We not, What we're not going to do is we are not going to sit up here and we're not going to defend the fuckery, bro. We're not defending that, bro. If you're not sold out for this team, you can get the fuck out of here. I don't give a shit what nobody said. That's the one thing about Derek Carr that I will never, ever, ever question is his dedication to this organization and this team. That is the reason why people love him so much. Thing about me is, is that I want to win so bad, whoever the fuck we're going to bring in here to get us to a Super Bowl is who I want here. Who's ever going to detract from that, I want gone. That's me. I'm saying that. I love the Raiders. I love the nation. But God damn it, it's time to win some football games. Seriously, man. Rap, ball out, what the fuck ever. But if you healthy and you not playing, and you trying to make a power play and LeBron and them is in your ear to get you out of here, get all the way out of here. Kick all the rocks. I'm not saying that's what's happening. I'm, listen, and this is basically based off of if this is what this man is trying to do. Because we don't know. But if that's what he's trying to do, see you fucking later, man. See you later. Thank you. And you know why y'all agree with me? Because I have the smartest audience on YouTube. You guys are the fucking best. Thank you. We got a super chat from my brother Omar always coming, dropping. Yo, thank you for the donation. Donations, donations, donations. Thank you, my brother. You know, I need to keep this channel going, man. I am just a poor, lonely soul out here in these streets, man. Bro, all this is guessing. We know... But he's always saying good things about D.C. He might want more money, but we'll see. Bro, say what you mean and mean what you say. I don't like the tactics of Clutch Sports and their management, bro. There's never been a time where I've seen them represent somebody where they've done things in good faith for the team. They do things in good faith for the athlete. But for the team, it's always an issue. It's always messy. They have a history. So I'm not pontificating on some bullshit. Come on, stay, ready to drop, D-Rocks. Stay with me, brother. Stay with me, brother. Come on now. Listen, I don't know how much longer um he has left on his contract. I'm gonna look, I think he got like another year left. I'm gonna look, but guess what? If that motherfucker is not sold out completely for winning, and he's worried about rapping and having chip and dip commercials, he can get the fuck out of here, bro. This is the Raider Equinox, God damn it. It's time to win. Hansi, Hattori, regardless of what you think about Clutch, or how you feel about organizations, treat, how organizations treat players, there is a need to a level of professionalism, 100%. That is a stone cold lead pipe fact, brother. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Big boy Mario, thank you, brother. I'm going to talk that fire all day, man. I'm fired up. I got some sleep. Thank you. 241 in the room, yo. Big boy, my guy, thank you for the 999 donation, my brother. This channel was going to take that, those funds, and we're going to pump it right back into this channel. Get some 4K channel, 4K cameras, and all kinds of fly shit, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. I love that y'all are supporting this channel, man. I appreciate everything, man. Jojo Valdez, always coming in here with the negativity. Says, ha, 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 you reaching with this narrative on Walla because he put together a rap video in the offseason. You got damn right. Go, go, to, go fucking put a video together of you on the jugs machine or you learn how to block better. See no goddamn rap video, Jojo. F that. Fired up today, man. Don't get me started. I think the Raiders seen something on the wall with Waller last year. 
when he got his contract, there has to be a reason he has a zero guarantee, no cap hit if they move on for Waller. I think you're right. That's the one smart thing dumbass John Gruden did. Because John Gruden did us no favors with these fucking contracts they can't get out of. No favors. But, yo, listen, man. And, yo, we can agree to disagree, man. I fucks with y'all. I fuck with all of y'all, man. But this is one day I, I don't give a shit. Y'all going gonna to get this work if y'all don't agree with me on this one, man. Darren Waller can kick all the rocks if he's not sold out. Swift Raider, clutch now throwing the Lakers and Palinka under the bus. That is, yo, it's a fact. And I listen, I fucking, I, as a player, let me tell you something. LeBron James is like my favorite player like ever. I'm a Knicks fan, but I love LeBron James. Love him. I'm like, yo, this guy made his way up. Fucking never had any scandals. Play hard, great player. Had more pressure on him than anybody in history. And he, he exceeded expectations. So I give him all the credit in the world as a player. But in his sports management shit and him being the GM and picking players and all this shit, don't bring that bullshit to the Raiders, man. Don't bring that clutch sports bullshit to the Raiders, man. Fuck that shit. Yes, I do, North Cal. Yes, I do. But, you know, I don't have it up here. You know, I, I haven't really, you know. But, yeah, yo, you right about that. They throwing the Lakers under the bus. Black Tie Raider, I let him finish out, prove it next year. And he can wrap his way out the building. Hell no. No, I'm not letting him finish here, bro. If he comes into camp or if he comes in here saying he don't want D.C., he want this, he want that, fuck that motherfucker. Trade him. Get another tight end. It's a lot of young tight ends out there that are on a free agent market that you can get on the cheap. And, yo, we move forward. Shit, bring Rob Gronkowski in here with a young guy. See you fucking later. Trade them to the Cowboys or some shit. They're stupid. They'll give us a first round pick. Fuck that. Get him. Get his ass out of here, man. Serious. I'm not. No bullshit. Trade him to the Cowboys for a second round during Lyle Collins or some shit. Tazi Sasso, you want to argue today, don't you? Over 270 in the room. Thank y'all, man. Well, then why don't we tell Carr, stop preaching and go learn to be a better QB then? What's the difference? Bro, there's a humongous difference because Derek Carr not only puts in the work, Derek Carr not only li lives and breathes this shit, Derek Carr is not only the first guy in the building and the last guy to leave, Derek Carr has said on numerous occasions that he is committed to the excellence and the resurgence of the Raiders. He's not trying to make power plays and shit like that. And I am not a Kardashian, bro. Y'all know y'all get on me for getting on him. I'm an honest guy. Derek Carr, that the one thing that you can't do about Derek Carr is you cannot question his dedication to his craft. You cannot do it. Darren Waller dogged it this year, not Derek Carr. So I don't want to hear that, Tazi. So stop trying to be the devil's advocate and get on board, damn it. I wear headphones because when people are on my show, my microphone has a headphone auxiliary. So a lot of times when people are on my show, I have to hear them talk. If I have them come through my, my computer, it'll cause an echo with my microphone. So I wear headphones. And it's kind of my thing, too. So that's why I wear headphones, sir. You never know who will pull up on us when you're on the United Nations of Raider Nation, Raider Nation Unlimited. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I need some positive affirmation here. Antonio Lopez, thank you. Yo, that belt is fucking fire, bro. I need I need an old Ric Flair belt. I'm going to copy off a of hammer. <laughs> Cash Lord Raider. Wazik mu music is trash. Hasn't attempted to make a Raider song either. A little sketchy. That's right. That's right, goddammit. Where's the Raider song at, Darren Waller? Get his bitch ass out of here. The Raider. Well, if we do trade Waller, then there's more than half of Devontae Adams' money. Adams will be worth it. That is a stone cold lead pipe fact, baby. Get him out of here. Bring me Devontae Adams. Cha-ching, motherfuckers. 
What's up, Ray the Two Face? Ray the Two Face, my guy, man. What's up, man? What's up with it? Can I talk more about Clutch Sports? Listen, I, I did previously, but Clutch Sports is LeBron James and, 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 and Rich Paul and all of them. You know, that's their management company. They have a lot of guys in the NBA, a lot of players in the NBA, and they have a, a propensity to play very, very aggressive when they're in negotiations with players. They are kind of the, the people that you go and get when you want to force yourself out of somewhere. If you remember, if you don't follow basketball, when Anthony Davis was stuck and mired in, you know, the filth of the, the New Orleans Pelicans, when he wanted to get out, he sat out the whole year until he forced his way to the Lakers. He made them trade him to where he wanted to go. He said he would not suit up for anyone else but the Lakers. That was a, a Rich Paul play. Ben Simmons from the Philadelphia 76ers has just sat out the whole year until he got traded to the Brooklyn Nets. That is what they do. And I don't know if that's what he's doing, but if we trade Darren Waller, what would be a good replacement? Austin Crawl. I said it previously. David and Joku from the Cleveland Browns, who is now a free agent, and or Michael Gusecki from the Miami Dolphins. I think they will be excellent replacements. You'd get similar production out of both of them, and you won't get a terrible rap album either. I'm listen. See, I have two problems with Darren Waller rapping. Listen, I'm true to this hip-hop shit. I don't like fucking plastic rap. I don't like whack rappers. I don't like mumble rappers. It's bullshit, right? So not only is he disrespecting hip-hop, but he's disrespecting the Raiders too. And I can't stand for it, goddammit. You can't disrespect two things I love all at once. God damn it. Y'all might be tripping. Darren Wilde's the best wide receiver talent-wise in the game. Some of y'all see him as a tight end. Taylor Vaughn Thaxton. That is a goddamn good afro you got there, buddy. I love it, man. But what I need you to do is, man, I need you to get a haircut and let some fucking brain cells see the sun so maybe they might expand and you can see that you are completely fucking wrong. Darren Waller is not even the best receiving tight end in football. What is wrong with you? Stop it. I'm good today. But Darren Waller pissed me off, Mr. Raider. Vader Raider. This rapping shit. Over 294 in the room, man. Come on, y'all. Get that up to 300, man. Listen, I, 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 I need y'all to feel me on this one, man. Wasted. Real talk right now. If Waller have Adams, Renfro, and Jacobs, could you name a, a better O in the league? I'll wait. And know the Chiefs ain't better. Motherfucker, you ain't even let me name it. You ain't let me name it. Listen, man. If you have all of that with Tay Adams, there, there, are, there are certain offenses that can be looked at as just as good. Because what you're doing is you are over-evaluating Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is a good player. Josh Jacobs is not a superstar running back, man. He isn't. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the 49ers are still a really good offense, but they don't have they don't have a quarterback. See, that's the difference, you know. So I'd have to think about that. Give me a chance to think about it, man. But let me tell you something. Darren Waller, listen, listen, I'm not, I'm not trading Waller for Schultz, the kid from the Cowboys. No way. No fucking way. How many passes? The Waller drop last season. Dude looks like he's mentally checked out. We need guys that are still hungry. Swift Raider, that's a fucking fact. I love it. That's a fact. We y'all can't have guys dropping balls, dropping first downs and shit, man. Raider Casper. How many passes Waller? Oh, 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 I fucked that up. I'm sorry, y'all. You know I'm a boomer. I could see Ziegler bring Gronk in on a one-year deal. Cheap way to make a huge splash. And Gronk will be a good poster boy in Vegas. Oh, hell yeah. Rob Gronkowski will have fucking women everywhere, he'll have drinks everywhere. He'll be snorting lines off of his shoulder pads. It'll be excellent. I love him being here. Yo, if we trade him Waller, we need to call oh, Seattle for DK. No, 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 Dirty. They're never trading DK Metcalf. And you know what? Not for nothing. If we got Devontae Adams. I don't know if I would want him. I don't want him bitching about not getting the ball. Seriously. Who a hater on a car, Chaz? You tweaking, bro. 
at Swift Raiders. When he got hurt, he had the highest drop percentage on the team. It wasn't even close. Raider Casper, talk that shit, man. I don't want to sound like everybody else that say talk that shit, but talk that talk. Talk them stone cold lead pipe facts out this motherfucker, man. We got 299 in the room. We just need one more for the B300 in here, man. And that'll be excellent for me. Okay, listen, we're not going to start the Donkey Kong session. 304 in the room, y'all. Thank y'all for pulling up on me today. Reverend Raider Youngblood, I don't care if Wilder is being a drama queen. If we don't have an O-line, we have a hard time getting the ball to anyone. Reverend Raider Youngblood, I care, bro. Because, yo, bad behavior and, like, negativity spreads like a wildfire. It's harder to spread positivity than it is to spread negativity. Just like today, I wanted to see what would happen if I put trade Darren Waller on, on the thumbnail for, 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 for my live today. And I've had the most people in here this week because the thumbnail had a negative connotation. That has proven my point. You have to have people who are bought in, man. You got to have people who are positive and trying to push this thing forward in a positive way. You cannot have people who, who are selling out and that are me guys and guys that are trying to become a fucking brand. Cause I know that's how it is with clutch sports. Everybody wants to be a brand before they win anything. Everybody wants to be a brand before they do achieve on a super high level. Having a good season at Titan is great. Winning a championship is even greater. Be Super Bowl MVP. Then become a fucking brand. Win Offensive Player of the Year or some shit. Didn't become a brand. Win MVP. You know? How did you get so fresh, player? What you mean? What you mean, like, with the clothing or just, just being energized? Because being energized is called sleep, my brother. How did I get fresh? I was born fresh, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. I was born fresh. I appreciate you, my guy. I appreciate you. I got to. Everyone here agreeing with you. I told you already. I'm going to be the counter argument. You always going to be the counter argument. But this is the Raider Equinox. Damn it, Tazzy. You get in line. <laughs> nah, Tazzy, I appreciate you, man. It should have been born if it was an echo chamber. I'm glad when y'all disagree with me. I, I just like when you disagree with me so I can tell you that I'm right and you're wrong. Seriously. Because, you know, I'm going to do that from time to time. <laughs> I really like Darren Wilder. Only came back because we made it to the postseason. He left us out dry the last four weeks. Poor City Raider, that's a fact. And you know it, and we all know it. The nation knows when somebody's dogging it. We fucking know, bro. We've had people come here and dog it. The Trent Browns of the world. Pussy-ass Antonio Brown. Excuse my language. I'm sorry, people who, you know, uh, are sponsoring me with their commercials. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said the P word. But it's all right. If we cut Waller and sign Mike Gusecki, there will be no Adams because Mike Gusecki is going to end up with more money than Waller. It makes no sense. AD, no, who said we got to cut him? And who says that Mike Gusecki is going to demand as much as Waller? He hasn't done shit in the National Football League. It could be David Njoku. Joku, and Joku's done even less than Mike Gusecki, but he has those kind of measurables that Darren Waller has. He's big, he's strong, he can catch the ball. Everything else you fill the gaps in. Listen, man, whether you got Jared Cooks here or whether you have Darren Waller here, whether you got Zach Miller, whom, whom, whom the fuck ever. Derek Carr's going to get you the ball. So listen, man, Darren Waller with his little 513 yards or whatever, he can kick rocks. Seriously. Straight up. Jesse Carr, see, that is, now you're talking. Trade Waller to the Jets for that number 10 pick in the second round. Now you're talking. I would prefer to see him get the fuck out of the AFC. But shit, trade him to New York, man. Get him out of here. Wait a minute. That's right. Where is the Raiders song at, Darren Waller? The nation is asking. The nation is waiting. You're on the clock right now, damn it, if you're going to rap, motherfucker. Edgar Bonilla, you got jokes. You want to hit an LL Cool J verse? I don't know. Maybe one day. I might do my LL Cool J 
impersonation. Y'all got me like a damn wind up toy in here with these imitations. <laughs> I'm not okay with letting water go anywhere. So I, I think what, you, what you're saying is probably Waller because water goes wherever it wants. But it's okay, Rated the Villain. If anything, we need to pair him with Renfro and Adams. Listen, he ain't the first tight end. Listen, when they made tight ends, they didn't stop making them when they made Darren Waller. You know, like, we got to stop with this bullshit, bro. Like, when we get a player here that, like, plays well, we get so attached to him that we can't detach our minds from them not being here. When half of these motherfuckers don't want to be here sometimes. I don't want anybody here that we got to fucking back up the Brinks truck for them to stay here. F them. Omar, $2 donation. Thank you. We will know if he holds out and plays injured. I feel you, bro. Feel you. At Rita Casper, Oscar Gill, I'm sure there's plenty of tight ends and free agent that can drop the ball, not break tackles, and miss almost half the season for cheaper. Just saying. Raider Casper, you're MVP today. Thank you. Thank you for making my point for me. Thank you. You know, I, you know I'm know, i going to take a sip of my water while you make this point for me, bro. Over 321 in the room, y'all. Thank y'all for pulling up, man. This shit is this shit is, is lit up in here. I appreciate y'all. Yes, I've also been saying in Joku, Kane Town Raider, that's because you're brilliant and you know football. Thank you. Hollywood Honcho. We got Foster. We don't need a replacement. Just go get Adams. I think you're bugging. I think you're bugging. Because I think Foster Moreau is another guy who is gravely and severely overrated. I wouldn't feel comfortable with having Foster Moreau in a feature position like that. Pump the brakes and let Josh and Dave figure it out. We don't have any choice, Mr. Marty Mart. But what I will say is, is that the nation... You know, me being one of the spokespeople for Raider Nation, you know, because we have this platform. We got to say in this shit, too, Mr. Marty Mark. We got to say in this, too, bro. I think I think you bugging a little bit. M85, the first time you ever agree with me. D Wallflower, get that F out of here. While it's staying, man, I would pay him 19 million a year. He deserves it. He don't deserve jack. He don't deserve Jack. You can get you can get anybody to play with that guy. He don't deserve a goddamn thing. Jose Lopez, all content creators have nothing to report. I got a whole lot to report. You see what we're talking about here. You wash your mouth out with soap. We're reporting here. Darren Waller's fucking up. That's what we're reporting. Bro, I don't want to get a fucking copyright strike. I will play that. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. The first time I heard the Darren Waller song, I wanted to stab my eye out with a rusty screwdriver. And I turned it off. And then I tried to give it another chance again. And then I wanted to dig my eardrums out. It's fucking horrible. So, yeah, we won't be playing that today. Bill Gates, wasted. Have Waller, Adams, Renfro, and Jacobs. Can you name it better? Oh, you said that again. Bro, give me a chance to think. Give me a chance to think. Because, not for nothing, you got to see if the Rams are able to keep the guys that they have. The Rams got a pretty formidable offense, bro. You got Matthew Stafford. You got OJB. You know what I'm saying? You got Cooper. Higby's a dog. Cam Akers and Josh Jacobs are probably – Josh Jacobs is a little better than Cam Akers – but they probably will have the edge at receiver, so you can't really say that. But then the Dallas Cowboys have a pretty damn great offense, to be honest with you. You know, D Dak Prescott's not as good as Derek, but the three receivers, if they keep the three guys that they have, I, I would probably take their three guys over ours. You know what I mean? So, and then they got two good running backs. They got Zeke, and they got the the, the kid they got there. So, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. Hey, Wasted. Think Graham will leave next year and be a head coach? What are your thoughts on Jimmy Smith? I think Jimmy Smith is a good guy to bring in if he's your third um, cornerback. I, I wouldn't cart Jimmy Smith out there as your guy that you're like, okay, he's our starting lockdown corner. 
Jimmy Smith has to be a rotational piece, kind of like how when we brought Desmond Trufant in, a guy that can play and you can bring him in, you get good, solid, or or like, you know, fakes in. I can see Jimmy Smith coming here. But if you're just telling me that we're signing Jimmy Smith and we're not bringing in Stephon Gilmore or J.C. Jackson, then I'm very, very disappointed. Super disappointed. Austin Crow, what would you take in a while to trade a second rounder? Certain players would love your opinion. I said it before. I would trade them to the Cowboys for a, a second round pick and Lyell Collins, high level guard. You know what I mean? What I would try to do is I would try to address a need and get a and, and get a top end draft pick for Darren Waller. That's what I would look for. I would look for anywhere between a third and a second and a player that can start on the Raiders. That is that is on the other side of twenty five. That's what I'm looking for. Listen, let me tell you something. I know my boy. Look, see, this is the thing, bro. I like Darren Waller, man. I really do. I like Darren Waller. But I want him to be committed to the Raiders. I don't want anybody here who is not committed to the Raiders. I'm telling you, man. I don't want anybody here like that. And you damn right, AD. I got some sleep for the first time in a while. And I definitely chose violence. Because, listen, man, it's not Darren Waller personally. I think he's a hell of a guy, man. Soft spoke, good, good dude. It's his management. When you have your management and, and they tell you to do certain things, man, I don't, I, I'm not feeling that shit is weak, bro. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And being in this thing, I let listen, I, I don't scratch my head if it, if, if it don't itch. And I don't dance unless I hear good music. I'm going to speak my mind and my, yo, t- w- w- what I feel the truth is to myself. I could be completely wrong about this. I'm not saying I'm totally right. I'm just going off of, off of you know, me using deductive reasoning here with the way things played out last season. I'm using deductive reasoning. So if that was what was happening, then we don't want him here. If I'm wrong and Darren was just hurt and he just couldn't play and he wants to be a Raider and he's not trying to force his way out of here, then fucking, listen, why would I not want Darren Waller? But if all the things that I've been hearing come out of the media are true, then, like I said, I don't want him here. So what you guys need to do is some of the people who are like, oh, well, why would you, while are being disrespected? Or that? Look, man, listen to what I'm saying to you. If that is the case, then, yo, I don't want us to haggle with a motherfucker to stay here. DeMarcus Webb, you know what, man? I wonder what Chuck will have to say about this too, man. Oh, everybody, you knew it had to happen. You know, I'm a big Raider fan. My man Wasted made me a Raider fan, you know, and uh, I don't like this thing, man. You know, I don't like no LeBron James neither, man. You know, if Darren Waller trying to make a super team, then guess what? He need to get his ass out of here. We don't need nobody here who don't want to be a Raider. You know what I'm saying, baby? He trying to be like Shaq with his fat ass up here eating Papa John's and churros and everything, you know? But LeBron James and them clutch sports boys is terrible. It's terrible. You heard it from the, the Hall of Famer, Charles Barkley, everyone. You heard it. <laughs> okay, Tony Romero. Tony Romero. Waller is a beast when he wants to be. He has already moved on. You can see it. Why haven't you seen that Waller and Carr hanging out like they used to? Yeah, you know, bro, I look, I ain't gonna put no stock in that. You know what I'm saying? You right though. You don't really see that shit. You don't see them hanging out no more. But that doesn't mean that he's checked out. I think you can kind of see in the way he came back last season. They were saying that the injury that he had on Thanksgiving was a three week injury and he was out almost half the season. So I don't know. You know, but uh no man, get us on the click, babe. We wanted to talk Raiders. What you mean? Wait, <laughs> I didn't get y'all here on the clickbait Raider critique. You guys are always here with me. We talking Raiders right now, brother. Waller needs to go because every time he gets hurt, it's going to be months to get back on the field because he don't take painkillers. Yeah, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he has some issues. We're not going to slam him for the issues he had. We all fall short of glory, right? Yo, Stormtrooper, you yeah, you tweaking, bro. I ain't see that. He said if Wallach gets traded, expect a bad diss track. Yeah, right. It's gonna be like the 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 fucking 
dollar store version to hit him up by Pac. <laughs> Y'all stupid. It's a boy. Thank you, my brother. LOL. You go after mediocre and joker over show shaking my head. No, I'd go after whoever's available and whoever fit into the scheme. But I think Njoku has a higher ceiling talent-wise than Schultz. Schultz is, is a beast. He's doing very, very well. But I think Njoku has a higher talent level. I think that if he came here with the Raiders and with this coaching staff and Derek Carr, who's very accurate and throws a lot of um, short, intermediate routes, I think they can unlock the greatness in Njoku. Very good, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all pulling up on me for what y'all do for me, man. I love the nation, man. Thank you. I'm just out here just doing my thing. <laughs> All right, let me let me let me scroll down, get some more of these chats, and we gonna get on we gonna get on with some of this right here. Pharaoh, salute, my brother. Thank you for for pulling up, man. G Town, thank you for the five dollar donation, my brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man, getting monetized is dope, man. I didn't get into this for this, man, but it, it's definitely a plus, man. I appreciate it, bro. Paul Burton, you got a dope. That's dope, too, man. Uh, if we bring in Adams, move Waller to full-time wide receiver and bring a tight end in free agency. See, now you, you're you being Mr. Wizard now. Darren Waller is not a wide receiver. He's a fucking tight end. He was a wide receiver in college. He's too big to be a wide receiver. I, I wouldn't want him being our wide receiver. Nah. Keep that tight end, but just have him some, you know, either either play him or get, get him somewhere else. Tony, you heard the directions for my man, Tony. Let's get wasted. It's wasted window. When, when, oh, window. Oh, I'm stumbling. I'm all off this coffee right now. Hit that like button, fellas and ladies. It don't cost you nothing. It means everything. To me. Yeah, it does mean everything to me, man. I'm trying. Listen, man, they, they calling me the rookie of the year, man. I'm trying to live up to it. Farrell the NFL. I want Waller and Njoku. Waller's not going anywhere, at least to the next season. There is no dead money. And if Darren Waller hasn't sold out for the Raiders and he's trying to push for more money, Farrell, he can get the fuck out of here. That's all I'm saying, bro. Bro, we got to have proof of this is an assumption. We all know. Listen, bro, I told y'all. This is my assumption. I'm using deductive reasoning here, brother coax i'm using deductive reason i'm going off of what i'm hearing in the media i'm going off of his actions I'm going off of this clutch sports shit i'm going after them trying to put him out into the forefront i see he's way more visible now to me trying to become a brand before you win is is, is basuda i don't like that shit bullshit Wait, so you're putting way too much weight on measurables and all that BS. Gear, KO, and Joku don't have... Listen, bro. What I'm putting it on is measurables, age, and all of that shit. I think he has an elite skill set. And, and not for nothing. He's playing with Baker Mayfield, for God's sakes. Baker Mayfield is a filthy bum. It's a bum. Baker Mayfield made Odell Beckham look like he was an average washed up receiver. Let's be for real here. Look how Dell Beckham looks now. He's with the Rams. So how do you think that young stud tight end would look with Derek Carr, who has routinely made tight ends have their best seasons? Oscar Gill, I think you're not putting enough weight on the fact that he's in Cleveland. So why keep a guy like that who's self-centered and narcissistic? Ready to critique? I don't fucking know. I say not. I say get him the fuck out of here. That's what I say. Base defect. I'm not the only person who remembers when Waller checked out during the season, during that Bears game. Even the announcers called it out. And, yo, that's why I'm saying this shit, base defect. See, yo, we I got a good-ass memory, and so does my man base. Get him the fuck out of here. Edward Figueroa, as a big Jets fan, I don't want Waller. Edward Figueroa, I got to ask myself, I'm surprised you're here, bro. I thank you for being here. And guess what, man? I have the Raider prayer ready if you're willing to come to the dark side, bro, my brother. I have it ready. I have it ready. We're going to burn a saint in your hand. <laughs> and take a little blood here. 
and we're going to preach and say the Raider prayer. You're going to pray to Al Davis and the torch and Allegan Stadium, and you can become a Raider too, baby. Everybody in the chat will accept you if you want to come on over. Matt Burrowcar, Marcus Allen can rap better than Darren Waller. You damn right. And Marcus Allen was a terrible MC. You damn right I'm preaching, Pastor Derek Clark. I am preaching today from the altar of the Raider Nation. <laughs> AD, I'd rather keep talent and add some, like Tay, because why take a step back when we just made the playoffs? But I hear what you're saying about Waller. AD, sometimes things can be addition by subtraction, bro. Sometimes, yo, man, like, yo, we can't just get these fucking guys a pass, man. You, yo, a part of winning is having the right attitude and wanting to be somewhere. That is a part of it. Selling out for the greater good of the team. That is what football is about. You have a wallet jersey. You're attached. But we have a plan. Yes, yes, yes. I get it. I get it. There wouldn't be a problem if he wanted his brand to be a great football player. The problem is he wants his brand to be outside of football, which is more power to him, but but he can do that somewhere else. And that is the fucking stone cold lead pipe fact. Go to Dallas with that shit. They got a whole bunch of guys over there who want to be a fucking brand. Get the fuck out of here. We don't need that shit. I'm not into conspiracy theories, Sin Kyle Raider. I'm into to, to using deductive reasoning here, brother. So like, yo, so if I come on here and I don't use deductive reasoning and I don't use my brain and I don't pontificate and project what could happen, then what the fuck are we talking about? Then I'm just news. Then I come here and say, today, Darren Waller said he wanted out of the Raiders two months from now. No, see, I'm here to tell you what you need to know before it happens, because I know. That's what we do here, bro. That's why you're here. You want to hear and you want to disagree with me. I want to disagree with you. Let's argue, Sin Cal. That's what we do here, man. That's what makes this shit fun. That's why we go live. You know what I'm saying? It's real time. This is real. Anthony G, thank you for the 499 donation, brother. Wallace on a good deal right now, considering his talent. So how do we replace him? We save it using it towards what? We save it using it towards the great Devontae Adams, baby. Bring him home. I'm about to start styling and profiling like Ric Flair up in this motherfucker, man, if we bring him in here. I'm telling you right now. Gabriel, where did the Wallace shade come from? His terrible rap song. Him holding out this season and dogging an injury. All things I'm seeing, him hanging out, the clutch sports connection with LeBron James and what they've done with other athletes and other sports. That's where it's coming from. So if you were here and you were at the front of the class when the show started, you would know. But it's all good, brother. I, I, I will definitely say that shit to you again, man. I I, I don't like that shit, bro. I, I like humble Darren Waller. I don't like Darren Waller that's trying to be a fucking brand. I think the main thing with Waller is we finally got a good player on offense. Now fans are afraid to lose him. And yo, Joshua Brockman, I get it, man. I've been a Raider fan a long damn time, bro. I get it. But see, this the thing that's different now, as opposed to in the past, is we have people who are great coaches. We're starting a whole new system. So it's not like they knew what it was like to have Darren here. And then they're losing him. They're coming here and establishing something from the ground up. That is the reason why I am very, very bombastic with my proclamations about what we should do with personnel. Because we're starting fresh. So they've never gotten the chance to coach Darren Waller yet. So you can't miss what you never had. Derek might miss him. But will Derek miss him if he has Tay Adams and say, for instance, they replace Darren Waller with a nice young tight end who's quiet and shuts the fuck up and they go get another receiver? Would he feel that way? He probably wouldn't, especially if there's static between the two. So, you know, that that's where I'm at with it. What's up, Wasted? I see you have a Jets fan on here. You meant trade to the Giants, which is in the NFC. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't think the Giants are going to do that. The Giants got a guy. And listen, there's another guy. We can get Njoku and bring in Evan Ingram, too. Evan Ingram is very, very talented as well. 
Ed Butts. Waller can be our version of Gronk, kinda, but not really, man. Like Gronk is is um Gronk is probably one of the five best tight ends to ever play the game. We don't know if Darren Waller projects to be that, but Gronk was like almost having an a, a, a extra tackle blocking wise. But Gronk can block and catch. And nobody can get their body in between a defender and a ball like Rob Gronkowski. Rated right Two-Face, I never saw anybody talk about trading Chase Young. I would love to get Chase Young. Chase Young is an animal. I, if the Redskins trade Chase Young, they should take that team from Dan Snyder or whoever the GM is. Chase Young is a fucking animal. You don't trade guys like that. I don't even want to even get myself happy about even thinking about no shit like that. My Zen Blue Raider, Waller isn't the first tight end with his skill set. Anyone remembers Vernon Davis? If Waller isn't all in, kick all the rocks. Thank you, my brother. This is a man who knows what he's talking about. What's up, Wasted? Oh, yeah. You had that when I went back. Pass it Derek Clark with the $2 donation. Thank you, brother. It's not Waller. It's really his agent. Yo, Pastor, it is Waller. Because if you're a man... You don't let somebody control every part of your narrative. You come out and you stand for something. You tell them, yo, y'all chill with that shit. I love the Raiders. I want to be here. I don't want to disrespect them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Jeffrey, you got to... Yeah, damn it. <laughs> damn it, Jeffrey. <laughs> Dirty low, my guy. Fluffy, what's the deal, bro? Bro, I usually agree with you. But on this one, bro, you wildin'. Waller's a top three. But knowing that you don't want to keep him, laugh my ass up. You're BSing, bro. I didn't say I don't want to keep him. See, you guys, listen, bro, I can say to you one plus one equals two. And some of you guys that tell me, oh, you said it meant equals six. Bro, what I'm saying to you is if Darren Waller is not all in, no, I don't want to keep him dirty. If he's all in, fuck yeah, I want to keep him. If he's not, get out of here. Get him the F out of here. See, here we got another Raider being very nostalgic. Bring back Jared Cook, Trey Waller. All-time favorite tight end was always Jared Cook. Jared Cook is another year older and another year slower. I'm not into rekindling marriages, man. Once I'm done, I'm done. I got a lot to report. Darren Wallace fucking up. That's right, damn it. That's right, Darren Wallace fucking up. That's all we talking about today. <laughs> uh, Y'all killing me today, man. Gabriel, thank you for the $5 donations. Wallace for Parsons, LOL. Just kidding. Will you guys stop with these fictitious trades? <laughs> damn it, Gabriel. Benevolent Prime. Apparently, his old agent is joining Clutch. So it's not exactly and solely under clutch. Yeah, but he's under their control, benevolent prime. And that is a very distinguished picture. I love the picture, bro. It's under their control. Yo, Waller has more N-words in his song than catches the pass. And that's another thing, man. Can we stop with the N-bombs all over the place, Waller? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Jesus, Christmas, man. Ice JJ wasted talent fish. These past 10 minutes hurt my head. Damn, you change your pinches more to skip Bayless. Hot and cold. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. Super Bowl and sandwiches. Fuck you. Yeah, clutch sports is shady as fuck. They have their finger in this and how you said, if he only wants to be here because of the pay, then get the F out of here. We need help, not players that want to that want to check. You want to be here, act like it. You got damn right. You damn right, yo. I'm way behind in this chat too, man. Valerie Lopez, it's okay. You late as long as you show up, man. I, I'm I'm just glad. Wasted. Do you think Hayward is going anywhere? Yeah, I think I think Hayward is definitely gonna leave. I don't think he can play in a conventional defense. He has to play in that cover three because he's lost a lot of his speed and stuff. So he's probably going to go with Gus Bradley. He, he's got his wagon hitched to Gus Bradley. He, he, he will definitely be a cult. Wilder, just stay out of the studio and stay in that workout room and playbook. You damn right, Docs. 
Thank you. Yo, the mayor of Raider Nation told you right now. Lock it up. Quinn Booker, I'd take Mike Gusecki over David Njoku. I would too, but not for the money. While it didn't play, he was doing a Raiders podcast. Dirty Rick, what's good? What's this Wallace shit about? I've been telling you, bro. I must be so behind on the fucking chat because there's so many of you. I am behind on the chat. Jesus Christ. Gabriel, thank you for the five dollar donation. We about to see a bunch of new regime come in here with this coaching staff. They're going to get rid of Gruden's guys and bring in their own guys. Yeah, and I have no problem with it as long as they play well. Salute to the chat, yo. Salute. Wasted, I think McDaniels is going to shake shit up like you, like Dallas did. Trade car, no, no, no. He's not going to trade car. He's not trading car. It's not happening, bro. He came here because of D.C., bro. Wasted, did he come out and say something? Just give me a quick rundown. What are you snapping about? A top three player in this position. Be Yo, I told you already, I'm not going to do it because I got to move on to something else because our show is about to end pretty soon. Randy Savage, you ever tried doing stand up? No, no. <laughs> I'm about to, yeah, that's right. I'm about to turn into Dr. Umar. That's right. I'm about to turn into Dr. Umar. That's right. I'm about to turn into Dr. Umar. Damn right, KO Raider. <laughs> there are plenty of teams that don't have a top three tight end in nearly Super Bowl contenders every year. Caesar, oh, thank you, Cha Ching, for the donation and sticker. Thank you, Caesar. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you supporting the channel like that, man. Thank you. Yo, salute to everybody that's been in here today, man. And y'all, please get wasted with me. I don't watch Skip Bayless. Fuck that guy. Yeah, that's right, Terrence. I'm five minutes late. I'm a boomer, but I try to read most of them. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Randy Savage. Where, where Randy Savage at? Docs. We listen, listen. There will be no docs slander on this channel ever. Please, please. But no, listen, y'all. So look, so I'm looking at this and I'm looking at certain guys that I would love for us to bring in in the draft, right? Nor Cal Jesse, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. All right, there's some guys that I would like to bring in. Now, when we talk about this offensive line, right, going forward, I want us to go out there and address that in free agency. Now, you got a lot of people that are talking about these high-end free agents. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I got three guys that aren't going to be too high, high, high priced that I would love to bring into the Raiders. Lincoln Tomlinson, he's a mauler. Lincoln Tomlinson is from the, from the 49ers. He's a mauler. He'd be great in the run game for Josh Jacobs. Connor Williams, the, the former Texas tackle that got um, converted to guard when he came in from the Dallas Cowboys, he's going to be available. I would love to bring him in. He's 24 years old. He's very good at pass blocking and run blocking. I would love to have that kid here. And, yo, James Daniels from the Chicago Bears, if you guys remember in the Chicago game, this is the same man who rock-bottomed fucking Denzel, uh, Denzel Perryman. He rock-bottomed him. He, yo, so he, James, he's going to be a little bit more money, but he'd be great for Josh Jacobs. He's another mauler in the run game. So I would like to see us go out and go take a look at three of these guys that a lot of people aren't worried about. Fill that guard position in right there so we have a veteran presence at guard. Go get a, you know, go get a tackle. Or maybe, you know, I've heard some reports that the Raiders are might consider moving, you know, Mr. False Star himself. Alex Leatherwood back the right tackle and that Alex Leatherwood was only moved the right tackle because we didn't have enough, you know, um, kind of options at the guard position when we had so many injuries at guard. And that was why they moved him over out of necessity. I don't believe that, though. I don't believe that one minute. I think he was suffering and his skill set projects better to guard. But what would you guys think in the chat? Everybody's still here with me about moving. Alex Leatherwood back the right tackle and going out and getting two free agent guards and calling in the day. What would you guys think about that? Put a one in the chat if you're in favor of it. Put a two in the chat if you're not, y'all. Do me a favor. That's right. Raider football talk. James Daniels is mad young, bro. He's mad young and he's aggressive. 
But if you listen, I need y'all to go back and look at that Chicago game because I, I don't want to get a, a, a copyright strike here and watch the rock bottom he gave Denzel Perryman. It's a monster. He is a monster. Problem, I'd moved <laughs> Leatherwood to the bench. <laughs> you crazy, yo. Non-stop rated podcast, yo. Wait, hold on. You say, no way. They they say that they would move Elemental with a, yeah, I don't know. Brandon Riddlespigger, my guy. Where you been, man? Two, he would be a better guard. He'd be like Robert Gallery. I'm getting Robert Gallery vibes with long arms. Yeah, everybody with the twos. I don't want to see Leatherwood back at the tackles, but I'd rather keep him the guard. Brandon. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. I remember. I remember KO blasted Aaron Donald, man. KO was a beast, man. I, I really wish he was still young and healthy, but he's, you know, shout out to the, the Colecchio simile, man. He was a great Raider, man. He's all fucked up. Did I say Robert Callery? No, I said Robert Gallery. Somebody should have called his ass Robert Callery, his bum ass. Black Hole, who we drafted in the first round? Now, look. If if the reports are true and uh Devontae Adams is gonna be up for grabs, we're probably not gonna go wide receiver in the first round. So then the Traylon Burks dream dies. Who would I draft in the first round? I would draft the best player available. I draft Tyler Linderbaum, he's available. I draft the defensive tackle. I'm just trying to get a W. I'm trying to get a starter out of this draft. That's what I would do. So for me, it all depends on the way the draft board falls. Now, we have a lot of interior linemen in this draft, so we can go that route. We can go corner. It depends on if the right corner falls to us, if Ahmad Gardner, a.k.a. Sauce Gardner, falls to us, if, you know, one of the better corners fall to us, or, you know, you can go defensive tackle. I really wouldn't want to go defensive tackle in the first round, but if you believe in it, Perrion Winfrey, I'd go him. I can go edge. I can go edge. Like, you know, the, like I think getting Devontae Adams and getting a superstar in your offense opens up so much, man. So, you know, you could just go best player available. Maybe you can trade out and get more players. But, like, but definitely, man. Like, yo, AD, like he said, Trevor Penning, I'm not as high on as I am Linderbaum. You know what I mean? Trip McDuffie, I would love McDuffie at 22, too. I would love McDuffie at 22. But see, guys, listen. My thing is with, with McDuffie and all these corners, we've had such bad luck with drafting corners in the first round, man. I'm just scared to draft a corner in the first round, man. I really am. I really am. And see, Andy, I would, yo, I would take a flyer on Nate Solder. Everybody is going to disagree with me. They said he played bad for the Giants. Yo, on the cheap, I believe that Nate Solder can play great at right tackle. I really do. I just think the Giants made a mistake at bringing him in and putting him at left tackle. He's not a left tackle. He's not left tackle. He can come here. He can play left tackle. Okay, so so we get Adams and the best player is Burks. If they're willing to do that and they want two monsters, get Burks. I wouldn't listen, man. I would never be against getting Burks. But also, you got to look at it from this perspective. Maybe you go defensive tackle, you get Perry on Winfrey, right? You get Winfrey, then you go, and then Christian Watson's there. And you bring Watson in, and that's a guy with a high ceiling that you can get in the second round. And you can pair him with Tay Adams. You pair him with Hunter. Not now, now, now you're cooking with gas, man. Quentin Booker, Nate Solder is not worse than Brandon Parker. Brandon Parker is the worst right tackle in football. And Nate Solder has played at a high level. I think Nate Solder was 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 definitely, definitely, you know, played out of position for a couple of years. He had some injury concerns. Nate Solder can play football, especially in the right system. They know what they can get out of him. Quentin Booker, you go, sit in the corner for a minute, and get your thoughts right. You're killing me here. Yo, and that's a fact right there, Sir Lister of SMG. Who doesn't play bad for the New York Giants? Listen, we will take the New York Giants trash and turn it into a treasure, damn it. I'm telling you. 
Jordan, DT in the first round, a must. Tony, I, I'm not, listen, everybody will tell you here in this chat. I got a whole episode. Go back and watch. I'm not high on Jordan. And he's not going to be there anyway. The Chargers are going to take him. Yo, the, the thing is, what's the price? What's the price to trade up, John Doe? What's the price? Because the only guy in this draft I'm trading up for is Kyle Hamilton. Can I get up high enough to take Kyle Hamilton from 22? Probably not. But that's the only guy I'm trading up to get. Listen, I told y'all, Brandon Parker right now is knee deep at Piggly Wiggly down in North Carolina. He's working at Piggly Wiggly. He threw him out of the league. He's terrible. Randy Savage, nobody trying to pay Devontae Adams $30 million. Who says you got to Who said that? Who said that? We might not have to pay him that much, man. That's just easy, easy. And if we do pay him that much, as long as you can get other players to make a competitive roster, I don't give a fuck. That's not my money. Ray, my brother Ray, the tape is in the place to be, man. Do people hate Claire? We don't hate him that much, bro. I just don't trust these guys out of Florida, bro. I'm sorry. The tape looks good. I just hate I, these corner guys, the Vernon Hargraves, all these motherfuckers, man. I just, I don't know, bro. I'm sorry. Dale Oaks, Leatherwood costs us more flags than anyone. Every game. Yes, he does. But maybe this new coaching staff can get them together, man. Let's pray, man. This is the Raider Equinox. Everything's been going well for us this offseason. Why not that? You agree as fuck. Nate, right tackle. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Yes, Raid has come here to rain on my parade. No, he's come here to support. That's my brother, man. I appreciate you, Raid, for pulling up, man. I really do. Thank you. I appreciate Docs for pulling up. Pharaoh, my brother, new content creator. Check that man out. Appreciate him, bro. Reverend Raider Youngblood, if Wilder doesn't get his head on straight, let the USFL do him. You bug it. Yo, Trevor Penning in round one. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Two years, two tackles. I don't know, bro. Didn't Miller have a shit first year? Give Leatherwood some time. We got to see, man. We got to see. Yo, LV Maximus, you're never late, man. You came at the perfect time, my brother. And you can always go back and watch. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. We give the Giants trash. <laughs> you bugging, man. Oh, uh, man. Hey, y'all, look. So also, I have a couple of um, I got a couple of safeties that I want y'all to take a look at, man. Go on YouTube, check it out. I'm gonna do a breakdown a little later and put it up for y'all. I'm gonna do a breakdown of uh, Jordan Battle, Kirby Joseph out of Illinois, Jaquan Briscoe. I already have that one up. Y'all go check that out. That's another safety that I would like the Raiders to take a look at. And Marquise Bell, man, Marquise Bell is an animal. There's a lot of safeties in this draft. We got to get a safety that can cover. We got to get Jonathan Abram down there and play Will Linebacker. That is what we definitely need because if we're going to play that too high safety, you, you can't have a safety that, that can't get his hips around and run with a receiver. You got to have that, man. I think Trevor Penning is a better prospect than, than Alex Leatherwood. I do. I do. I just don't want to have two kids on the same side of that line. So then Leatherwood will have to move over there with Colton. Brave Raider. I would rather take Nate Soldo over Trent Brown any day of the week. Any day of the week, man. Miller started to play his best. We put him next to Richie. We need a veteran next to Leatherwood. And I agree with that. So maybe we move him over and move him next to Colton. Colton can do the thing that Richie did for him. If we don't get a superstar, a really good player at that position, we, we would draft another bus. And, and that's, see, look, bro. I have all the faith in the world that this regime will not be drafting bus players. I have all the faith in the world, my guy. So don't, don't you fret, my brother. Don't you fret. Help is on the way, man. Help is on the way. We got people that know what the fuck they're doing, yo. We got people that know what they're doing. Help is on the way. All right, what we got here? Wait, wait, Black Hole. Who we stealing for the Patriots neck? I don't know, man. We done stole their whole coaching staff. I want it all. Fuck them. <laughs> I want it all, brother. 
Give it all to me. Give it all. <laughs> yeah, man. I want it all, man. You know, pretty soon, man, we about to we about to bring this thing to a close soon. You know, and then once once I get done, you know, you know what y'all gotta do. Y'all gotta go over to y'all gotta go over to our boy Docs. But you know, I don't need to tell y'all that. Y'all already know. Gotta go over to our brother Docs and do the damn thing. But uh yeah, I think I fucked this up too. So did something. Um, all right, Farrah for <laughs> you got PS VDSD. <laughs> all right. Jawan Philly. The pick gotta be a home run. It definitely does, y'all. Definitely does. Wait, Jordan Battle, Black Tire Raider, is really talented, good hips, good ball and things. He needs more discipline. He'll over pursue often. But what he won't do is he won't get smoked by Travis Kelsey. And that's another thing that I like. What do I think about N'Kobe Dean from Georgia at 22? I don't think N'Kobe Dean is a dominant linebacker. I think N'Kobe Dean is a is a um I think he's a product of the team that he's playing for. I think that he has such a dominant front four that he's able to run free. And he, I, when I watch his film, I don't see him able to overcome being blocked. I'm not a big, I'm a Devin Lloyd guy. I'm not a big N'Kobe Dean guy. I'm a, I'm a Brian Asamoa guy. I'm not a big N'Kobe Dean guy. I'm sorry. That's me. I could be wrong. You guys can kill me when, when, when it doesn't work out, if, if he is or whatever. Oh, my God. We got a legend up in here, man. Salute, my boy. The Beast Coast is in the place. Raider Hancho was in the building. Yo, Hancho, bro, we got a link, bro. We got a link, bro. We got we got to have a conversation, my guy. Thank you, Hancho. Thank you, my brother, <laughs> for the four ninety nine donation, brother. Yeah, we got to talk. Yo, they talking slick, Hancho. They talk about this flag football team. They talk about the East versus the West like we can't play or some shit. I told everybody, I said, yo, look. I said, I heard Hancho raw with his shit. I heard he raw, and he from Newark. I said, I know my shit says, I'll rent a car and drive out that motherfucker if my man Hancho don't want to fly. We got to represent the Beast Coast, Hancho. You got to link with me, my dude. Seriously, yo, thank you for pulling up, brother. But y'all, listen, man. This has been yet another great episode of Raider Nation Unlimited. Yo, my man Docs is about to go on, yo. Y'all got about 10 minutes to get over there. I'm going to end this up because I got to go take my daughters to cheerleading practice, man. Hey, yo, Hancho, happy birthday, too, my brother. Happy birthday, man. Blessings. You know what I'm saying, bro? Listen, man, all, all the best to you and your family, bro. Seriously, man, thank you for pulling up, my brother. Thank you, man. Hey, Dirty, I'm going to hit you, too, man. Hey, y'all, but I, this the, is this the episode. I'm going to get out of here. I got to take my kids to practice, man. So, you know, waste it. I'll see y'all tomorrow.